Hello everybody, Sifter again with another Pornbarian run. And today the game is launched, or, or tomorrow, or because I don't know when I will upload this. Either way, the game is launched. So the game is, uh, for whoever doesn't know, it's a chess roguelike pretty much. So you get a deck with uh, chess moves, chess pieces that can move like chess, yeah, chess moves. And uh, you can upgrade them, give them passives and stuff like that. And then you just try to win. So uh, there are new characters. Uh, I played a bit before just to get used to the Knight Templar here. So uh, I have played with a Pornbarian before. You can uh, watch it in the channel if you search Pornbarian. Or uh, I, I mean, maybe I, I will add a link somewhere up here or something. I can I can do something to show you guys how I destroyed the game with a Pornbarian. So today let's play the Knight Templar. So let's embark. And we can go to the Fire Shrine or the Golem Fortress or the Goblin Cave, which we already have defeated. Let's go to the Golem Fortress, I guess. I think they might counter us here, but it is what it is. So these are the golems. Uh, Guard Golem, Copy Bear Golem, and Copy Bear Golem. Moves after Cantrip. Uh, immune while the hero is on any adjacent cardinal adjacent squares. And gains immune until the next turn after Cantrip. And moves after Cantrip. So Cantrips, by the way, are is going to happen whenever I play two horses. And Cantrip means I draw another card. So I can draw another move and I can move one more space. Uh, this is an explosion, so let's go here. It's gonna explode this thing. Whoops, it's dead. And uh, if I, for example, if I now use this, I'm gonna get a free move. But he's gonna get immunity, and he's also gonna move for free. Now, if he's gonna move for free, I don't even know what that really means. So um, I guess let's go over here. Yeah, these guys get electrified, but it doesn't matter. Come on, move. Okay, I got another horse. Well, that's trash. Let's go over here and pass. So the other hero has the ability to get queens. This hero doesn't really get queens somehow. Kill this guy. And uh, let's run away. I should be able to kill this guy too. Nice. And we lost some gold. Through the last turn was because the last turn was a bit slow and now I can't even get good upgrades. I would say let's go with a bunch of explosions on the horses. Yeah, I can make this horse a super horse with a thousand X's and stuff like that. And it would be nice if I could get another upgrade or maybe a shield on a horse. But it's okay. Also, the hearts are max life from here on out, and this also regenerates. You get one life each turn. It not its turn each day. Cantrip counter after death triggers all spark traits. Man, is everybody have does everybody have the spark thing? Attacks after a cantrip. Attacks after a cantrip. Attacks after a cantrip. And this is completely countering my cantrip strat. After death trigger all spark traits. Attack, attack, attack is what he will trigger. And this is going to give me a shield, so I can counter the attack. Now let's do that. It's going to counter this guy. Whoa! Well, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm still playing. Um, against immune until after cantrip. Is he immune now? Seems like it. Immune while the hero is not in any of the adjacent squares. Well, you know what? We're going to go over here and just keep our safe safe. Our self safe. Okay, I can do uh, this. And then the Mega Horse of Death. Easy. Mega Horse of Death. And now I will regen one health, right? Yep. So nothing lost. Let's go for some explosions or shieldings. Uh, shieldings on horses are good. And let's get explosion on another horse. Hmm. A sideways explosion on a bishop is not really that good in my opinion. So let's go with a shield on a rook. Not being able to buy cantrips and everything costs 6. What do you do? Nimble dodges the first attack. Champion immune while any other enemies are alive and attacks after cantrip. This guy's nimble too. I mean, I can get rid of him right away. Because he cannot jump over there. And I can get rid of him too. And uh, I have a shield, so... This field is attack attacked by 1, so I'm pretty safe. After death triggers for spark. Attacks after cantrip. What a weird attack, by the way. What a weird attack pattern. Uh, I guess we kill you. This is gonna trigger his attack, but I have a shield. Okay, so I don't care. I go over here, I push you into the corner, and now I kill you. Easy. And now we got a bunch of money again. 14, so I can buy two things. Let's say let's go for a shield here. I want to upgrade my horses mostly. Mm, should I go for another shield? Shields are overall useful. 
Yeah, let's go for shield. Shield means a lot more survivability, especially when you don't, when you should avoid using cantrips. Uh, after death trigger all sparks, immune, immune. These just get immunity attacks, and he gets an attack and also immunity. I could kill two units here. Who is attacking this space? These two. So I could kill him. Uh, if I kill him, this becomes a one damage space. Yep. Because if you go over a space, you uh, whoever becomes red are the units that attack it. So for example, this space getting attacked by these three. This space getting attacked by him. So if I just kill him, I'm good to go. And I just take nothing because I have a shield. Immune while here is in your cardinal direction. Yeah, who cares? Um, I mean, let's go here and kill this guy. Or just kill this guy? Ah, who's attacking the space? Both of them. Now I can use this. He's gonna die. He's gonna do nothing. Very nice. And you're dead. Easy. What am I gonna get? 15 coins with two upgrades again. Only explosions. Well, if it's only explosions, then horses is what we go for. Because uh, horses can easily place themselves in the middle of some areas and just do a very good explosion. <clears throat> Cantrips. Yeah, moves. What is this? Champion. Yo, immune while under enemies. Other enemies are alive. Nimble. Dodge the first attack. <clears throat> and Spark Puppeteer spawns a Capybear Golem on an empty adjacent square after Cantrip. Okay, so don't kill him. Spark Imp. After death. Whoa, this fight's gonna last long. By the way, is there even a field which I'm safe at? I can kill this guy. And uh, who is attacking this space? Him. Okay, so I kill him. This space is free now. Who is attacking this space? Him. Would be nice. Let's go back to free space and pass. This wasn't a very good turn for us. I should try to avoid cantrip attack. So if I go here, one, oh, oh, these three will all die. And he will spawn a bunch of units. Mm, let's try it. Okay. Oh, those also got their moves. Okay, if I use this horse, they're gonna do a thousand things. So let's just move up and be done with it. Okay. This is an X attack, so we go here, everybody's dead. Nice, he cannot attack us from close up. Uh, you run away with your nimbleness. Um, I guess one and two. Easy. The shields are really useful, by the way. I start feeling the safety of them. I would say I have 16, so I can do two upgrades. I would say I want the mega explosions on both horses instead of one more shield. Let's go for the mega explosions. Now look at these super horses I have. I have four super horses of the apocalypse. What is this? Blights all adjacent squares after cantrip. And also while moving. Obviously while moving. I mean, that's the one thing that's always happening. I could do a mega kill here. Kill three units in one hit. And then like use this to kill the, the, the one at the bottom. You guys are toast. And now let's kill this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Imagine. Okay, you guys can move. Can I get another mega explosion to jump right here? No. Okay, we kill uh, this guy. And now he, this space is uh, pretty much nothing. And let's go. I like I like the stability of the knight here. I like I like how I can um, easily shield myself 20 so I can buy three upgrades. Let's go for the horses of shielding. And uh sideways explosion on a rook. I think a sideways explosion on a rook is more important. Let's hope I will not go into this field. Okay, I did not. Nice. I'm not gonna go max health. Who cares about max health, man? 7 out of 7. Final boss. Wah. King Golem. Attacks after a cantrip. Spawns a guard golem on an empty adjacent square after a cantrip. And 3 units that will trigger it on purpose. Attack. What's his attack? It's everything other than the cross. Got it. Okay, I need to get rid of these 3 things so they don't start attacking random. And then I can start killing the sparks. So, if I go here, one, two, three, die. <laughs> or, this guy also dies. Everything dies, pretty much. I hope, yeah, these guys will not trigger if they are dead. Whoop. Only the boss will trigger. And it attacked, but I wasn't there. 
This guy's immune. I could kill this. I could go here, kill these two. Uh, the, the boss will trigger again, but uh, I will get rid of all the triggers right away. This guy will also trigger, but it's nothing. Let's go. I don't care. Trigger twice. Three times even. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I have two shields, so... Oh, these guys are immune. I pass. I just need the horse of death. Horse of death. These guys are alive. And uh, I'm forced to move away. I'm gonna spawn another one. So I killed one, but got two. Oh, I can still play. Oh, they are immune after a cantrip. Sorry, forgot. Now I would like to get something... Yeah, exactly. That's not a horse of death. So... Oh, this is immune from if I'm next to it. Okay, then horse of death has to happen. Does it? I could just do... Mm, trying to think a way of killing these guys here. I can go here, kill the top one, and then here, kill the bottom one. Nice. Slowly getting rid of them. Slowly getting rid of them. I will go here. And here. Nice. We won. That's it. Now I can either rest your laurels. Or uh, go to the next one. Uh, should I? Should I rest my rolls? What, what does this exactly do? You know, if it's, if it's gonna remove us from the infinite gauntlet, it's okay for me. I think it's gonna remove us. Yeah, from the attempt on the gauntlet. Damn it. I should always go into the gauntlet. Conquer all dungeons on the Quint chain. All dungeons. Okay, okay. Did I unlock the new one? I unlock Shogun. What is this? What is this? Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play the Shogun the next time. I don't even know how this moves. The first one more use a martial art completely unknown to the continental chestlands. <laughs> yeah. Promote the card the first time you move each turn. You can use a dragon drop action, which charges whenever you kill. Okay. I'm gonna look at this on my own and then I will be able to explain to you guys how this works. So to, uh, today I will be playing the Knight Templar as I actually have beaten the game with the Barbarian. Obviously not shown here. Uh, let's go into a Knight Templar move again. Let's go... You know what? Let's not go into the File Shrine. I will go into the File... You know what? Let's go into the File Shrine with a Barbarian. Barbarian. Okay, so these guys have Void Grasp. After death, move the hero in the direction of the attack. So if I attack him from bottom to top, they will push me even higher. Let's go here. You see, he just pushed me up. Let's go here. I could have killed him, actually. I don't know why I played it like that. Uh, here you go. I got a cantrip. He pushed me over there. Here you go. Easy peasy. So this guy's ability is that he... I can look at the right. Move into the top row. Start your... Uh, yeah, you can... Uh, the ability is that he promotes pawns to queens whenever he's on the other side. Or if I have three pawns in hand. Or if I start my turn at the, at the top. So I should always try to go at the top. Also, the best passives you can get is cantrips. But I didn't find a single cantrip here. That's not good. <laughs> um... And also no pawn upgrades, that's also not good. Let's go with... An Explosive King? Man, these upgrades are really not good. Let's go with an Explosive Horse, and I guess this too. Okay, we got some imps here, Blight Imps, they move twice. Leave Blight when moving, Blights are adjacent squares after death. Okay. Uh... I was thinking about moving here and cantrip killing this. And then uh, how can I escape? I can't really escape. Mm, I could... Okay, I can move here and then here. And then I still cannot escape. He's attacking the square. This guy is. This square is safe. I could just do a safe move. Do I want to do a safe move, though? I mean, I have one region. Let's get the cantrip and see what I get first. Okay. Uh, yeah, not a good idea. Let's get hit once. It's okay. Getting hit once is not really that crazy. I will be able to heal either way. Two death. Hide over here. You come close to me. I get a queen. Done. Now I will heal once. And we are good to go. We found a cantrip on a pawn. I'm getting this. Cantrips are always broken. They cost 10, by the way. Yeah, it's either one or a cantrip or two others. Attacks after cantrip. That's not good. Void grasp. Was it here in the direction of the attack? Yeah, I got it. So you're dead. 
And he moved me. He also had Void Grasp, it seems. Should read up better. Uh, I have one move left. I'm obviously not going to go there. Let's just move upwards so I'm closer to the Queen. Ah, very nice. Mm, pushing him should... He has Nimble, so he will avoid it. But the Spike is going to hit him and kill him. And then he's going to push me even more to the left. While this thing also will die. Nice, here I am. And uh, I would say let's go up. And pick up a Queen. It's going to be a pass, but still. And we got another Queen. Easy peasy. Whoops. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I have a shield. And also an explosion. I don't know what I was thinking about there. Oh, more cantrips. Let's go here. I would say let's get some queen cantrips and not bishop cantrips. And hopefully next round I'll get 15 and get to buy two cantrips. I don't know. Maybe I should not have bought the X on the horse, although it gave me a kill right now. I start with the queen because I have three pawns. Very nice. This is a cantrip too. This guy has void grasp, so if I kill him, he's going to push me most likely to the top. Because I have tested this, and they push you towards where you would go normally. So it's going to push me. Although I'm going to kill him with a spike, he's going to push me to the top, so I'm going to get hit there. I'm going to lose my shielding. I go here though. Oh, that guy waits for a cantrip. Well, regardless of he waits or not, it's not like I can really do anything. So if I kill him, I kill both of these. He's going to push me up and I'm going to lose my shield. And then I will be stuck with these because I cannot move from here. And that's a two damage spot. So I will not go there. Uh, I would I would go here. Then again, I cannot move though. Here. No matter where I go, I cannot move because these are pawns. If I go here, I kill this. If I go here, I kill this. Okay, I go here, I kill this. And then I can't rip my pawn move to the top. Okay, I could go here. And then the pawn, I could get a kill with a pawn here, which would be a cantrip, and then I would be stuck there. If I get a pawn, I'm toast. If I get anything else, I can uh, definitely survive. Uh, let's play a 50-50 game. Okay, I'm alive. Oh, he pushed me to a safe spot even. Even better. Mm, this is not a good idea, obviously. I mean, I can go here. Now let's go here, get a queen. Okay, nice. Who is attacking this spot? I would say let's just get rid of this guy. And just move around. There's no reason to risk anything. Okay, nice. That's a kill on him. Nice. And that's a kill on him. Easy. Easy. Easy and safe. I can't rip on the bishop. And uh, I will keep my money for a double cantrip purchase next round. Otherwise, I will try to uh, buy whatever I get next round. Wait, did this move and leave? Sponsor Blight Sack when moving. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, this gets a double kill. This gets a single kill. If I go here, it kills the, these two. And then uh, I can horse my way back from here to here, maybe. Because this is it from this guy. All adjacent squares become blighted. I can move over here, I guess. He's protecting from this guy. I could kill this guy. That's safe. Ah, <sighs> Okay, this is a safe spot. Only the spiders are tagging it. If I don't lose any life here, then... Uh, is this? Wow. I have to kill whatever it spawns and then at the same turn kill it too. That's not good. This is an X kill, so... I can go here. It's gonna kill this and this. This is gonna push me to the top, I think. To the left. Whatever game. Whatever you wish. Let's go up to create a queen and just stop there. No, I'm not gonna use. Uh, I could use. Actually, this is a safe spot. This is not a safe spot. If I get a pawn, I'm almost dead. If I get a horse, I can go here. If I get this, I can go back. Yeah, on, only one in five, I'm toast. Okay, I'm safe. Let's go here. Nice. Sish. 
Nice-ish. Okay, because I'm gonna do... Uh, okay, this is gonna be a definite pawn coming in from this. So... Hmm... Let's just play it safe. Actually, there is no playing safe. If I kill this, I'm uh, getting hit. Hmm... Okay, let's kill this for sure. Now we get a queen. Actually... No, let's just go here. I, I hoped he would come next to us. Okay, that's a kill on the bottom guy, who's gonna push us to the bottom, right? I would assume he, was push, he would push us to the bottom, but I'm not sure. Let's test. He did push us to the bottom. Huh. Okay, we move one up. Do I have a shield? Who's attacking this spot? The Blight. The Blight's attacking that spot. Move here. Can't drop perfect. No, so close. Run away. Okay. Um, I need to get rid of these guys. But I can't. I guess go top so that this becomes a queen and come back. Because the queen stays as a queen until I use it. Here we threw a queen. We drew a queen. So I can go here. Then move up for the explosion there. Go here. Move up for the explosion. Perfect. We did it. We did it. And we lose only one last only one life. Cantrip. Perfect. And another cantrip here. And let's go. Look how many cantrips we got. Cantrip is the most broken ability in this game. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, this guy gets needs to get rid of right away because he moves when I cantrip. Otherwise, Void grasps too. He's gonna push me into the corner. I'm gonna lose a life. Or, or, or. No, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> or I can kill this guy. He's gonna blight. Leaves blight when moving. Oh, then just kill him. And uh, and go down. Yeah, and go down. You're gonna box me in. But that's okay. If I draw an explosion or cantrips, nah. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get rid of this guy right away. No, he's not gonna activate anything. I'm gonna get pushed two thousand directions here. What? Why did I lose two life? One of them should have pushed me to somewhere. Mechanics. Uh, this is. If I use this, it's gonna push me to the top right. I'm gonna lose another life. Otherwise, what could I do? If I use. Um, yeah, I can do this, then this, then this. Nice. Now I'm safe. And uh, I guess this, so we got a queen. Okay. This next, uh, yeah, this will kill this guy and also push me to the right. Then I can use this to go sideways there. Yeah, we won. Uh, did not realize that. Let's go here. Let's go back here. And let's go here. I told you this was the end. <laughs> uh, no cantrips to be seen. Maybe I need a heart? I mean, shields are important, and these guys also have cantrips, so it's a shield plus a move, and this is gonna be a mega move of death. Let's go here, let's go here. I don't have any more money. I have for a heart, but the next floor is the final one, so that means I will not be able to buy after the next floor. Let's buy the heart then. As far as, far as I understand, that's what it means. I'm gonna go into the challenge mode too this time. And tomorrow we will play the Shogun. Okay, that's a triple kill. We fought this, right? It spawns a Kraken, Tentacle, on an empty... No, I didn't fight this. An empty adjacent square the first time each turn enemy dies. These guys are enemies too, so what is this? Leaves a Blight when moving. After death, moves the hero in the direction of his attack. If unable, or multiple Void Grasp were triggered, instead deal one damage for each Void Grasp. So if I play this here, I instantly take three damage. He's gonna activate no matter what, but I don't really care about it. Uh, so if I play this here, I'm gonna get pushed into this thing. Leaves Blight when moving. I need to remove these things right away. So if I play this, it's gonna kill this, and this is then gonna it's gonna push me to the right, which is gonna hit here. So the shield's gone. Ah, uh, really no 
not good hands. Let's go here, get pushed, as I said. Then I can maybe use the hole. Yep. If I use the horse here, first of all, this guy's gonna attack us. Oh, it's even immune to adjacent. Wow. So good thing I didn't jump in here with the horse, nobody would die. And this guy spawned another one. Leaves Blight when moving. Man, how is this fight possible? I think I'm forced to kill this. Or this. Oh, if I kill this, it's gonna push me to the top left. Yeah, and then I can get a cool... Can I even run away if I get to that corner? If I get to that corner, I'm dead. Although with the cantrips, maybe I can survive. How did... Man, this is stupid. Why, why did this guy have trigger first? Why did this guy trigger at the best possible time? So, he didn't trigger when I activated it. He didn't trigger when I killed the enemy. It triggered before I move. Uh, it, uh, Frustration. Immune while the hero is any cardinal adjacent squares. Could kill this guy. What's attacking this square? Man, I need to run away. Ah. Could have maybe killed this. Okay, these are next to me. Now I got a horse. So if I attack the horse, I'm gonna get pushed into this corner, right? I mean, I cannot use anything else either way, so... Of course. It's as if it's pushing me to the direction it needs to until I die. Let's go for a kill here. Nice. Oh, how did that guy not trigger in time? I don't even know. If I use this, I'm gonna get pushed into that. I'm gonna even stay there and die. Mm, I guess this is a forced move. Oh, I can get a shield from this. Am I gonna survive though? I will have two shields and uh, both of these will die, so I will get two damage and one from the boss. I should survive. Yeah, but one from... Oh, I'm, I'm still playing. Oh, let's hide then. Easy. Uh, I can get a kill here, which is gonna push me to the left, which I don't really care about. Okay. This is free, and depending on what I get... Hmm... I could get a thousand things. Yeah, let's play this safe. Okay. That was the safe play. Nice. So we get a kill here, this will push me. Yeah, this will push me to the... to over this position. Nice. Now I could... I could attack here. Which is gonna push me to somewhere, but I have a shield. Okay, nice. Now I can kill this guy, which is gonna push me to the bottom. Nice. Does he have some kind of immunity? While any other enemies are alive. Okay, nice. So... I just go here and here. Nice, we beat it. We beat the game. Uh, should I go for an infinite? Let's go for an infinite. I mean, yeah, we might die. Let's go for an infinite run. Whatever happens, happens. The Fall Shrine gone on floor one. I like how the game just lets you leave if you want, if you got bored or if you just want to progress and unlock stuff. You're not forced to go for an infinite. Uh, I will not play very... How's it called? Calculative here. <laughs> I'm obviously not gonna run in here and be blocked off, but I'm also not gonna be playing the best possible way. So let's go here and see what we get. Okay, we got a bishop. That's nice. So we got a kill here. A kill here. And uh, I guess uh, <laughs> what I said paid off already. Oh, that was three damage. Well, I didn't realize. I thought it was two damage, but the moment I pushed him was the moment he died. Uh, he attacked us. Yeah, yeah, I get what happened. Yeah, well, it, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I, 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 the moment I said I'm not gonna play perfect, boom, that was the moment I died. Yeah, I mean, hubris, I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna play as well on this time. And you're dead. Either way, uh, I think that's going to be it for today. So uh, tomorrow I'm definitely gonna be playing the Shogun. 
But before that, I will obviously play this a bit on my own just to see what everything does. I have never played Sh Shogi or whatever that's called. I guess that's Shogi. It might not be. Well, this can be the king, I guess. Either way, uh, that's uh, that's going to be it, as I said. If you guys like the video, maybe drop a like, helping out the channel. I will keep this video short because I'm trying to, you know, turn the channel around into having a bit of a shorter videos on games that don't need to have one hour run videos. And yeah. That's uh, going to be it. You guys, uh, just, uh, by the way, if you want to tell me anything, just comment down below. I'm reading everything, and I'm also responding to most of those. If you want to tell anything about the game, if you want to tell me that you like the game and you want me to do more of this, do that, because that's the way you make me play games. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, if you would like to support me even more, there is always Patreon for that. There's a percent of the rewards might not be crazy, but, I mean, you can have your name on the screen <laughs> for a lot longer than you most of the time could. Either way, that's going to be it for today. So, I hope you guys are happy and lucky. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's going to be it for today. So, thanks for watching and see you guys around.